Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for a moment of silence. Good morning, Cass. Today is Friday, November 10th, 2023. I'm Carl Parrott. Today on the show, we have a live segment with one of our Cavalier staff who is also a veteran and honors a Veterans Day. But first, these announcements. The Media Center would like to help you boost your vocabulary power by sharing an ACT vocabulary word of the day. Today's word of the day is digress, which means to get off the subject. For example, while he was giving his speech, he began to digress from his topic. Attention Cavs, the Media Center is sponsoring a South Carolina Young Adult Book Award nominee reading challenge through January 19th. To participate, read three of the books on the nominee list and submit a brief book review for each title you have read. All qualified participants will be invited to a special luncheon on January 31st and their names will be entered into a drawing to win a $30 Visa gift card. Book Award nominees may be checked out from the Media Center or the Public Library. You may visit the Media Center website or check with Ms. Brown or Dr. Williams for more information. Students, if you need help with your ELC, need to make up tardy hours, or need seat time, you can attend our virtual tutoring sessions after school. These sessions are held from Monday to Thursday from 5 to 6 p.m. You have the flexibility to attend every day or just the days you need assistance. Attention military connected students. Mr. Palmer, family, military family life counselor, along with student counselor, Mr. Jones, will facilitate the first of a series of monthly groups and meetings for you. The first group will be held on Tuesday, November 14th in the main conference room, A126, and the second group will be right before winter break. The topic of discussion will be, but not limited to, deployment, mental health and wellness, study skills, relationships, and coping skills. Pizza and snacks will be provided as an incentive for participation. There will be a brief agenda of specific information to be shared during each session, but we hope the groups will be very interactive and encourage a high level of student ownership and participation. Your voice matters, so tell us what's on your mind and what the group topic should be. As a reminder, all participants must be eligible for MFLC services and have a signed consent form on file with Mr. Palmer. Please share and spread the word to all military connected students and feel free to contact Mr. Palmer in C Hall room C-115 with any questions regarding eligibility or any other concerns you may have. Looking forward to a great kickoff on November 14th.
the Hosa Club and the Star Club will be collecting toiletries for the homeless until December 8th. If you can help and donate, items can be dropped off in the Media Center or in Ms. Smith's room, E107. Attention work-based learning students. It is now time to turn in your work hours from the month of October. Supervisor evaluations are also due. Contact Mr. Sumter if you have any questions. Seniors, if you have a job, you can earn CCR status. Contact Mr. Sumter or your guidance counselor to get the application and start the process. Your job works. r &E Book Club, Convergence Media, NHS, and AVID are accepting SOC donations for the Hope 365 Community Service Drive. Drop-off locations include the Media Center, B206, B207, and S104. We appreciate your generosity and welcome your donations by Wednesday, December 13th. Calves. Our fall blood drive is Thursday, November 30th. If you are 16 or older, you can help save a life by donating blood. This year, our goal is 58 pints, and with your help, we can do that. Please sign up today. QR codes and links can be found posted around the school, in Ms. Cherry's email, and on social media. If you are 16, please pick up a consent form from Ms. Fluellen's room, room S102. Attention Cavalier family, please join us as we celebrate this week's Cavalier Student of the Week. Congratulations to Bailey Bullers. Bailey earned CCR status by scoring well on the win assessment. Congratulations, Bailey. Attention Horizon Magnet students, this is a reminder to please return your permission form as soon as possible if you plan to attend the field study to the Natahala Outdoor Center on Friday, March 22nd. Please be reminded that you must return your permission form before you can begin submitting payments on Parent Portal. Seating on the bus is on a first come, first serve basis, so please return your form as soon as possible. Thank you in advance. Veterans Day is a federally recognized holiday, first celebrated on November 11, 1919. This holiday finds its roots in honoring those who fought in the World War I but has now been extended to all of those who have served in the United States Armed Forces, including the Army, Air Force, Marines, Navy, and Coast Guard. It is observed every year on November 11th. Let's go over, over to the studio where Sam Weiss is live with a veteran from r &E. What's up, Cavs? I'm Sam Weiss, and today I'm joined with Student Activities Director, Ms. Cherry. So, Ms. Cherry, when did you serve in the Army? I served from 2003 to 2010. And were you ever deployed in that time period? Uh, yes, so I'm a re I was a reservist and my unit was called up to um, go to uh, New Orleans, uh, Hurricane Katrina, um, to help with the uh, uh, cleanup there. And so before the show, we had talked briefly about the NBC that you're a part of. Yeah. Could you explain that? So my job, I was an NBC uh, non-commissioned officer. NBC stands for Nuclear Biological Chemical. Um, so we were uh, tasked with determining if the area was contaminated with a certain chemical or not. And then we would go in and clean it up. Yeah. So were there any other deployments that you and your troops had to go to? Well, we were called up um, shortly after 9-11 happened. Um, we were uh, tasked with um, going over to Iraq and we went uh, to Savannah to get trained up and two weeks into our tr in processing uh, we were told that they were going to send a military po police unit so we were uh, ready to go but relieved that we were able to stay home. You just barely got out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you want to join the Army in the first place? Um, I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself um, and then shortly when I joined in 2003 we were um, um, into the war on terrorism. 9-11 had just uh, recently happened uh, so patriotism was very high in the nation and I wanted to be a part of the movement. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, also, today is November the 10th. It is the Marine Corps' birthday. My husband is a, oh, well, once a Marine, always a Marine. Um, so I wanted to shout out the Marine Corps and Master Gunnery Sergeant Gaskin. Um, they are 248 years to, old today. And then tomorrow is actually um, Veterans Day. And it is for everyone to remember um, to honor those that have served. Um, and I also sent out a link uh, this morning to students and staff um, to see the veterans that are here at RE. So when you see them, thank them for their service. 
Well, thank you so much for your service. Remember, Cavs, tomorrow is Veterans Day. Reporting for RNA TV Live, I'm Sam Weiss. Now, back to Carl. Thank you so much, Ms. Cherry, for coming on the show. And thank you to all those who have served. We appreciate your sacrifice to our nation. If you want to see some behind the scenes of our daily shows, make sure to give us a follow on Instagram and follow our other Cavplex publications while you're at it. Well, that's all we have for the show today. Reported for RNE TV Live, I'm Carl Parrott. And remember, it's a great day to be a Cavalier.